Hey Justice, it's Thursday and this video comes to you in at least two parts. The first part is that I recently found out that from my boss, uh, due to the, my performances as a uh, first shift opener, um, coming in at five o'clock in the morning and working until 11 o'clock in, in the morning for six hours, that um, due to compliments that I've gotten from both my boss's boss and from um, the store person I don't know her like it's store director I think is technically the term but it's really weird because it's the store is so much smaller than what Meyer was for me and I find it really difficult to you know grasp in that aspect but um due to those compliments and due to how I've been doing I am apparently going to be the main opener for the deli which means that the 5 to 11 shift that I've been doing is going to be my main shift which I'm not going to complain about so that was the first thing. And the second thing is, is that I've recently gotten into what's called Harry Potter and the Sacred Text. It's a podcast that you listen to. Um, can be found on iTunes. I may link it in the description at some point in time because I've got to get on YouTube later on today to set up some stuff for Josh because he and his brother Tony are going to be doing what we're doing, which is really interesting. Um, but because of that... Uh, I have started to kind of dive back into Harry Potter, and when I opened up my Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book, I came across the graduation uh, invitation, which means that this book, the last time I touched it, was about five years ago. Yeah, Harry Potter is one of my favorite series that I've ever read. It's not like the series to end all series, but it's definitely really important to me. And seeing that the last time I wrote it was prior to this podcast being started, prior to podcast, yes, Prior to this vlog being started and prior to um, Josh and I getting into a relationship together and prior to me moving in with my father and then subsequently moving out from where I lived with my father and everything else, it's kind of mind-boggling and really difficult for me to grasp. So that's, uh, that's something that went down and despite everything... Uh, I, I kind of started to think, maybe I should get back into this. So I picked up the book. I haven't read through it yet because I haven't really had the time to sit down. I want to actually read through it with Josh because I feel like that'll make it, the series so much more important to me. Uh, but I don't know if we'll ever have the time because, let's face it, Josh is busy playing Overwatch more than he is doing anything else on top of homework and school and Lord knows what else. Um, but yeah, so that's all happening. And then, of course... Uh, the podcast is really good. I've really enjoyed it. I kind of sort of got lost in it and binge listened to it. I'm like at episode 12 or 13. Um, I don't remember what chapter I'm on. I just know that I just passed the uh, mirror of, uh, Irised. Irised? I can never say the name of it correctly. <sighs> I'm out of breath today. Um, but I just passed that chapter and went into the next one. And it was kind of a really interesting listen. I've really been enjoying it. But I kind of sort of like can't wait to go through and read it a little bit more critically myself. Because I, I do it a lot for classes. And I'm really good at reading critically. But I have never exercised it outside of class. So I kind of want to know what it's like to read through a book critically. And know that you're coming up with these conclusions and ideas not because of the fact that you like are doing a project for it and have to do it and it's absolutely going to be due in the next two weeks and you have to get everything done, but instead do it as a fun side thing and actually write baby papers or do something about that and see how people react to it. Um, that's something that I just kind of felt would be really fun to do. Um, on a side note, aside from everything else that was mentioned, uh, Josh is starting a video diary vlog or what have you with his brother Tony this week. Um, hilariously, Josh is uploading on the same day that I am on Thursday. I may link that in the description if people want to watch it. I'm not going to force anybody to do so. I mean, we get a couple of trolls who like to comment on things that we have posted, which I find more entertaining than anything. Because the fact that you take the time to watch these videos and then comment on them and try to do it in a trolly way is kind of just like, okay, yeah, you're here. You watched it. Congratulations. You're not going to get a reaction from me unless I really, really feel the need to discuss it. Uh, but I, I just kind of find it entertaining. 
Um, but it's going to be kind of under the quote unquote team Valenstorm brand because that's what Josh called it. And I find it really entertaining to think that we have a brand going on, despite the fact that we don't really have a lot of viewers and that we don't really upload a lot. It's entertaining to see that we already still consider that YouTube presence that we have to be a brand. Um, aside from that, there's not really much going on. I'm going to give your word of the week as tired. You, because let's face it, I'm bushed from this past weekend. I still haven't even had time to like think about what happened. And I think that you're probably in the same boat. So with that, I will see you on Monday.